Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you a no makeup makeup look. After cleansing my skin, I applied SK2's facial treatment essence to radiate my dull winter skin and then stem power on my eye region and then also Cellumination Aura Essence to give my skin some hydrating glow and finished off with Pantene's dry shampoo. Now for makeup, to start off I'm using Maybelline's Pore Eraser as my primer and applied it mostly in my T-zone and under my eye area. For the makeup section of this video, I decided to use all affordable drugstore products as I figured why waste more pricier high-end products if you want it to look like you're not wearing makeup in the first place. As I couldn't find a suitable BB cream at the drugstore for my skin tone as most shades were either too ashy or pink based, I decided to find the closest foundation shade to my colour and mix it with a moisturiser to break down the consistency. I also used a beauty sponge to give it more of a sheer finish. And here's a side by side so you guys can see it's still quite close to my natural skin tone. Then I apply the smallest amount of concealer under my eyes to cover my dark circles. I decided to leave the rest of my blemishes on my face so it still looks like my skin. Here you can see that the left under eye looks a lot more awake and fresh as opposed to the non-concealed right under eye. For brows, as this is a no makeup makeup look, I wanted them to have an almost undone finish so I didn't try to perfect them too much. I wanted them to have a few gaps but still lightly filled them in with short strokes. and then set my brows with some brow gel to finish them off. To fill in my lash line some more, I applied a black eye pencil to the upper waterline and this will make your top lashes look more full without being so obvious. And then I curled them with an eye curler straight after. For mascara, I focus the product mostly at my roots, wriggling them at the base and not focusing too much on the ends. Still want to keep it looking as minimal as possible. If you do get carried away and end up with clumps on the ends, you can gently comb them out with an eye comb. Now we want our skin to look like natural skin, so I opted for a cream blush rather than a powdered one. This was perfect because no matter how much I applied, I could still easily blend it into my skin. Here you can see the left cheek has a subtle flush to it and you can't tell if it's makeup or not. I also used a cream highlight to make my skin look more healthy and dewy, using my ring finger as it has the least pressure. I applied it along my cheekbones, down my nose, on my cupid's bow and also on my brow bone. Basically wherever the light naturally hits your highest points. Now I couldn't find a drugstore cream contour suitable for my skin so I ever so lightly applied a powdered one under my cheekbones. Let me know if you guys know of any cream contour shades available at the drugstore in the comments below. And then I lightly applied that same contour shade into my crease to create a subtle depth to my eye. And then I used a lip pencil closest to my natural lip colour to lightly sketch out my lips. And to finish off the look I applied some lip balm to prevent them from chopping. And just one last step to brighten up your eyes and make them look more awake, you can apply a white or a cream coloured eyeliner in your waterline. And that's the final look guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave some feedback in the comments as I would love to know your thoughts. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye!